hey guys and welcome to the channel my name is monet and welcome to the beautiful garden by taylor wimpy we're getting the first impressions same time as you so i'm gonna start over this side and this oh my god this is the dining room beautifully sized it's got a conservatory feeling bay window here and I love that because that would let loads of natural light in. And it fits what? How many people? Six people, have you? Beautiful table here. Beautifully set up. Do you like the black? Yeah, it's nice. Like and it's really easy to walk around, isn't it? Love the light fixture. It's a good space. If you're a parent, this could definitely be a playroom if you're not a formal dining kind of person. And then let's find out what's on the opposite side. <laughs> yeah, it is very, very spacious. And again, if you don't need an That's office space, space. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the swag. Don't we look sailorish like I'm about to jump on a boat? It's the swag. Again, I feel like I fit in here. It's so beautiful. This could definitely be for two people. They've just put it in a corner, but it's so spacious. And I feel like you could definitely be... Do you like the light fixture? Yeah. And then the lounge. Beautiful lounge space here. The lounge space was quite spacious, very well decorated, simple, but beautiful and shows you just how big the space is. We have two armchairs there, a double seat there that I can lounge over to. <laughs> They've got double doors that have access to the garden, which is great from a lounge space. And then we have these large light fixtures there that also show just how spacious this room is and it was quite high higher than the average new build to me looking at it because my husband was standing in there and i could tell that he's standing quite comfortably um the chairs also another double day another double seat chair could fit in there and the garden was beautiful here obviously new built gardens are all different but this is a quite a good indication of what your garden could look like with a home like this back into the hallway here that's the main entrance the dining room and then we had the downstairs wc that was currently the staff room's uh, cloak room as well but this is a really good way of showing that this downstairs wc is quite spacious they could comfortably fit a bench in there to get their shoes off and get changed um, into work gear they also have a mirror a toilet and a sink my husband was quite hypnotized by these paintings here for a while kind of creeped me out a little bit <laughs> um, but he thought they were cool me on the other hand not so sure um, yeah that's the downstairs wc then heading over back to the hallway there's a under the stairs storage with electricals and stuff like this and yeah good space to like hide your shoes and little trinkets in there then over to <laughs> my favorite space in any home um, this lovely kitchen here there's this u-shaped part here that has a three-seater bar stool i love the countertops in here and this dark colored cabinet, quite nice, quite lovely. They had an extractor fan and a hob over here that were integrated, which was beautiful. And then peeking over there is a laundry room. And I was really excited to see that. Um, a laundry space like this is quite handy. And it also has access to the garden. So you could easily take your laundry from the laundry room to the garden lovely sink there as well then there's this area here so this beautiful wall here housed a few integrated appliances 
they had the fridge freezer there they had um the ovens as well double oven freezer in there which was great it's like the magic wall then this space here is so huge i feel like you could put something else there they had a sideboard there which is great to have then they have the garden room honestly the spaces in these new builds just never cease to amaze me now um, and i love the garden rooms they they're just a great space to hang out they let in a lot of light and keep you warm so it's not like the old conservatory style where you're like inside getting some sunshine but it's not very well insulated and it also has double doors so access to the garden which is very important that fresh air and that barbecue during summertime this home feels so spacious remember we've seen a dining room an office and a lounge so you could use all those other rooms for different reasons this is your house it also had a lot of led lights so you could definitely set the moods because you could turn some off and leave some on but yeah the lights were shining 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 bright okay so heading up the stairs i walk up this lovely stairway and they had art on it which was gorgeous you could have a family picture there if you like if you're into that don't you just like these um two-toned banisters i think they're great that's me showing you just how spacious the landing is in my own special way <laughs> um so the first room just happened to be the principal bedroom you're first met by this vanity area where you could obviously get ready in the morning you could also have your computer there if you're somebody who works in their bedroom if i can do a leg kick up and not hit anything then the room is spacious they also had this mini juliet balcony with a single door so this door here would be facing the front of the house um this room is is quite spacious i had to like backtrack and sit back here just to show you that this is a really big armchair but i still have room around it which means yeah the room is big um if you're having a baby in the future or you just had a baby enough space for a court enough space for next to me and some you know they had this like wallpaper here that looked like wall paneling but had the same effect and i went into the <laughs> ensuite i just loved how i came out there i thought that was really funny and then they have the heated rails in there and i love love the tiles in this room i love them because they match mine i have the exact same ones but they also had a rain shower and held handheld shower which was very handy and then they had the stuff that we normally have sink toilet single lever they had a two pane window there, which is great for ventilation. So a very good sized ensuite, to be fair. Back into the principal bedroom, we had these sliding wardrobes with rails in them. So three of them, quite a lot of storage. We love to see it. Then back into this little space here, which I love. It's like a little entryway for your room. You could actually put just a chair there or a chest of drawers um, if you liked then right next to the principal bedroom is this kids room here so possibly your youngest kid so you can check on them most they've got this three pane window it's a big window good space to walk around this double bed yeah and then they have sliding wardrobes which is good handy space and they're fitted so you know it's kept nice and tucked nice and easy room enough for also a chest of drawers and a few little toys and then moving on back into this landing which is again a good size landing 
we head into the family bathroom with a mirror over the bath and shockingly a separate shower not shockingly just a really good bonus <laughs> it's not over the bath which is great um, the space in there was absolutely beautiful heated rails half tiles beautiful space and then in here we also had some storage with a tiny little boiler so i thought that was the whole boiler and that's why i stood here for so long i've never seen <laughs> such a tiny boiler but spoiler alert it was not the only one <laughs> and then in here we have another double room so third bedroom two pane window fitted wardrobes i love this i love that they all have space for their <clears throat> for their stuff this one is currently staged as a boys room so i really like what it looks like it's so cute it's a little masculine room um maybe more for a teenager i would say so yeah and then back into the hallway and there is the boiler <laughs> i don't know what i just saw in the other in the other storage box but there's the boiler <laughs> If you're a plumber, I'll know what's going on here. Let me know. And then here we've got the fourth room. And this room here is very... I just adored this room. I liked where the placement of the computer, a homework table there. I love the fitted wardrobes again. It had recessed LED light. The wallpaper was very unique. And the way the bed was made, it was just cute. I always like these gold accented girls' bedrooms with a bit of pink. I believe that they're just adorable. The girls' room also had an ensuite, which means there's two ensuites in this home. So that's great. And the ensuite was quite spacious. And I was picturing my little girls just, you know, getting ready. <laughs> cute. Very, very cute. Don't forget to stay until the very end of the video where I give you so much more information about this home. Is that it? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's it. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this house tour. This is the Garden by Taylor Wimpy. I'll give you more information so don't click off yet. Bye! Okay guys, a little bit more information about this home. So this is the Garden by taylor wimpy it's a four bedroom four bath house it's got two car spaces it's got a detached garage that open plan feeling um it's got french doors to the garden from the rear it's got a utility room this house is actually 2239 square feet which is great and of course they have the taylor wimpy two-year warranty they have an ensuite to two bedrooms which is pretty cool as well. So if you need any more information on this house, I will definitely be leaving more information regarding this house and the details. And I am happy to say that currently Taylor WP at Hamilton do give out 25,000 towards your deposit right now. So if you are in the market to buy a new build, maybe call the sales agents over there, which is pretty cool. Good luck. Bye.